I'm going to show you how you can create redirect URLs with Airtable. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So after we set up the tool, this is what we would get. We've got URLs here on the right side and the purpose of this is these URLs on the right side, the static URLs will always remain the same. So I can take these, print them out, put them on a QR code, send them out in emails, and they will never change. Now, what does change though is what they redirect to. So this is the destination that they lead to. So if I open this right now, you see that it redirects me to the uh, Viva browser and that's coming from this cell right here. So if I change that value, right? I've just changed that value. I reopen that URL. Now the URL, you know, redirects me to a new, a different, to the new different value. So in a nutshell, that's the um, use case of it. Now let's go ahead and I'll show you how to set it up. So normally you would start with just, you know, you've got some URLs and you want to redirect to them. This is what the tool looks like. You'll start by filling out the API key, the base ID and the table ID, and you can click on these to find those. And after that, we want the Airtable field name. So this is the name of the field that will have the changing URLs. These are the destination URLs that will keep changing. So grab this from here, throw it in here, and then hit save. Now, to get those static URLs you were seeing earlier, you would click on the settings, go to this formula, grab this entire thing, and add a new column that is a formula type, paste this formula in here, and then let's call this static URLs. And there you go. And now if I open this, it's the same as before. It redirects me to the correct URL.